Hello YouTube, uh, Raphael here at Taming the Orchid. We are quickly approaching Thanksgiving here in the USA and uh, Thanksgiving here is the official start of the holiday season and um, I'm really excited to have all these plants in bloom uh, for the holidays. I um, feel so blessed and so grateful that all my love and dedication is paying off with a lot of blooms. So let's go and have a look. Um, here's my Cattleya Triani Alba. Um, it is be giving, putting on such a big show this year. It has six blooms. Uh, this is the second time that it's bloomed this year. And just look at how beautiful it is. This is, I just love this plant. And it has the most wonderful fragrance of cinnamon and lemon. And it's very gentle and not overpowering. And it is just so perfect. To me, it embodies Christmas and the holiday season just because it's such a pure white flower with that little bit of yellow in the lip. So, so beautiful. I've just been enjoying this so much each and every day, just sitting in here and uh, coming in to give it a whiff and a fragrance of its fragrance and just really, really enjoying it. Really, really beautiful. And over here, I have my Cattleya Eldorado Semi Alba um, Pincelada, and it is the clonal name is Capara. And this is a very rare um, Cattleya Eldorado, which is now called Cattleya Wallisii. And as you can see, it is a stunner. An absolute stunner. Look at the lip on that. So beautiful. And um, this is a very compact plant as you can see. And this is definitely a warm hot grower. Um, definitely likes the night temperature minimum 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It will sulk if the temperature goes below 70s. Um, it will tolerate 60s but it just does not like it. So this is grown in my warm growing area on a heat mat. And uh, this is again a very rare um, variety of Cattleya Eldorado um, and it is so beautiful and the fragrance is very intense it's like spring flowers and very strongly reminiscent of hyacinths very very strong fragrance um, again a beautiful beautiful plant as you can see in that uh, that uh, pincelada which means the flaming in the petals and the sepals and the petal and the whatever um, but uh, the, the, like the paint brush strokes and the flaring and the petals and stuff. It's just beautiful. As you can see there, gorgeous. And over here, I have my Cattleya Percivaliana Summit. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful plant and one of my favorites. I love Cattleya Percivaliana, also known as the Christmas Orchid. And it's got that really, really, really gorgeous lip. It's almost like gold in there. And um, the fragrance on this is very unique. It's like an underlying citrus, I guess would be the base tone, and then a predominant fragrance of like musk, and I would say wet dirt. <laughs> I love it. It's very unique, um, a very unique plant, and I love it. And I have a few varieties of Cattleya Percivaliana. I actually collect this species because I really, really love it. And it is just such a beauty. Um, and I had an original piece of this back when I lived in Canada. And this is a piece of the original awarded plant. So this is not a clone. I usually don't collect clones. Uh, and um, I'm just really happy to have this again. And it is so beautiful. And over here we have um, Brassel Cattleya Mahina Yahiro. And the clonal name is Julie. And this is um, a rare mutation form. Usually this is pink, but this is a mutation form that has the um, purple picotty around the petals. And it's got that fimbriated uh, petals and the lip. So gorgeous. And this has the most incredible fragrance. It smells like uh, raspberries uh, with a little bit of orange and lemon in there. And it is so strong and so beautifully fragrant. I really enjoy this plant. It is so gorgeous. Absolutely love it. And uh, this is the second flush of blooms. It already had two blooms which went. And um, yeah, it's such a great plant. Wonderful, wonderful collector plant. So here they all are, all are together as a group again. And yeah, I hope you're all doing well. And I wanted to take this opportunity to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and all the best for the coming year. Happy growing to everybody and until we meet again.